In this video, we're going to look at how to evaluate this limit by using the squeeze theorem. First, we notice we have a cosine 1 over x. And we know our cosine function is an oscillating function, means it goes in between 1 and negative 1. We know our as our x goes to 0, 1 over x will go to infinity. But still, cosine of infinity still oscillate between 1 and negative 1. So that doesn't help us to fully solve this limit. Therefore, we need a slightly different technique. Here we also have x squared in front of cosine function. So this x squared help us bond this limit. Or in other words, to set some kind of boundary to allow us to use the squeeze theorem. So let me give a very simple example to explain this concept. If we have a variable y, and we know y is greater than or equal to 5, and also smaller than and equal to 5, what is our y going to be? In this case, our y has to be equal to 5. If you let y be any other value, this equation wouldn't be correct. So this is the concept for the squeeze theorem, which we can also use here. Let me show you how to do that. So we already know that cosine 1 over x is a function that goes between negative 1 and 1. So let's times x squared on all the terms in this function. On the left side, we would have x to the... Let's times uh, x squared to all the terms here. On the left side, we would have negative x squared. The middle, we have x squared times cosine 1 over x. On the right side, we have x squared. And the reason we can do this is that, as we know, x goes to 0. x is a very, very small number, but our x is still a positive and real number. Therefore, we can times x to this function, and it wouldn't change the uh, inequality here. And now let's look at the bonding terms for this function. On the left side, we will have the limit as x goes to 0, negative x squared. So that will give us 0. And on the right side, which is the upper limit or upper boundary, we have the limit of x squared as x approaches 0, which is also give us 0. So our function has changed into something where on the left side we have 0. And in the middle, we have our function x squared times cosine 1 over x. And on the right side, we also have 0. So therefore, the answer is very obvious. You need your limit to be greater than or equal to 0, but also smaller than and equal to 0. Therefore, the limit to our question is going to be zero. And now you have solved this problem by using the squeeze theorem in limit.